The optimal number of guitars equals the amount of guitars you own plus one. Today, we're doing some math. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the Mercari app to find a brand new guitar. Ooh, this one looks nice. Hello. There's a link down in the description to an app called Mercari, and it's an online marketplace that has all sorts of different things, including guitars. If you're familiar with eBay or Reverb.com, you'll be very comfortable using the app, and you can do so on a mobile device or like I'm gonna be doing on my computer. Feel free to check out the link down in the description to check out Mercari. I also wanna let you know Mercari is running a no fees promo on guitar sales specifically. So if you wanna sell a guitar using the Mercari app, you will not be charged a listing fee or any other fee to sell it. All you gotta do is pay for the shipping to send it to whoever buys it, and that's it. It's a limited time offer, check that out. That is a great deal. So join me as we hunt for some guitars on Mercari. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I know that I don't want a standard guitar. I'm not gonna look for like a Fender Strat or a Gibson SG. I'm looking for something maybe a little bit more unique and something that fits into my guitar arsenal, my guitar arsenal. Guitars for me are not only awesome collectible objects that also make really nice noises, but they're tools to help me do my job. So I'm looking for a tool that fits into a space that maybe has yet to be filled. With that said, let's jump on Mercari and see what we find. All right, so here is the Mercari website. Again, you can use the app. I am just using the desktop version for a little bit easier way to see it for you guys. So this is the deal, you can sell it, ship it, get paid 0% selling fee, that's the promo going on right now, $35 shipping. They have this cool little calculator, so let's say I sold this guitar for 500 bucks, I would make 465 bucks because they would just charge for the shipping. And as you can see here, versus eBay or Reverb, you would not make as much money and well, I guess that's why Mercari is better. So as you can see, they got guitars. I don't even know, what, what do I start with? How about this? Let's say guitar. <laughs> and, uh, okay, this is gonna be a million different things. Let's do the minimum price. I don't want a cheap guitar, but I also don't want a really expensive guitar. So let's say between 400 and 650. How about that? There should be some good deals in that range. Um, I would say any condition, that's fine. I will say for sale. I don't wanna see anything that's already sold. Shipping, I don't care. Uh, lots of brands here. Um, okay, that should be good as far as the start. Hey, first thing that comes up, PRS SC Standard 24. Let's check that out. That's a cool color. Um, hmm. I definitely already have an SE Standard 22, uh, semi-hollow. So, while wow, this is a nice guitar, maybe one of you, that's a good deal, 400 bucks? Go for that. If uh, you're seeing this video, go check that out, see if it's still there. Uh, let's see, Fender Blacktop Tele, looks pretty nice. Um... It's a nice looking, it's probably like a Mexican, yeah. Mexican 2011. Again, not really going for uh, just a standard guitar. I want something unique. This looks pretty interesting. Matsumoku hollow body electric guitar. Hmm. Let's see, neck pickup needs to be resoldered. Has wear, I've had it for about five months. Very good sounding guitar, works for jazz blues. Pickups are quite good sounding. It appears to be a late 60s Conrad model. That's gonna go on the, uh, the list of contenders. I'll give it a heart. And it should save to my heart list, I suppose. All right, let's keep looking here. <laughs> this looks cool. Supro guitar with Supro hard case, 550. Supro White Holiday, plays and sounds great, just haven't ended up playing it. That's usually 
why do you sell guitars? Is it because you don't play it or you want something different? What would you say the main reason people sell guitars is? I would say it's because people buy it and then they don't play it enough and then they're like, oh, I'm gonna sell it. But obviously if you wanna upgrade to get better stuff, um, that's one thing, but just selling it because you think you don't play it enough. I always would just argue, well, just play it more, come on. It's an awesome guitar. I don't know. And this is like a real nice looking guitar. There's only one picture. Um, but I have actually, I have played Supro guitars before and I've liked them. I like their amps too. And it looks like this has a piezo. I think this is the one, this one has a piezo and like a P90 maybe. I need to look this one up. All right, Supro White Holiday, piezo and vibrato bar equipped fiberglass. Yeah, so this definitely, I don't have a guitar like this. Um, it definitely has a spanky tone, I bet you it has just a real gritty organic sound to it. Um, yeah, definitely a contender. I'm gonna just keep it on the list and let's keep moving. Give it a heart. All right, Epiphone, Demi Lovato signed this one. Um, I would argue that the value has actually been decreased by that signature. Get out of here. All right, let's see what else we have. Michael Kelly. I don't really know much about the Michael Kelly guitars, but it looks neat. Again, kind of a traditional Telly style. Not really what I'm looking for. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, this Gretsch looks interesting. Unlike other listings, this one is upgraded pickups to TV Jones. Bridge is a TV Jones Classic and neck is a T Armand. And a Gretsch hard shell case. I like the ones that have hard shell cases. Um, that, that usually means they're a pretty solid guitar at the base. Um, well, this one's pretty nice. I like that red and gold combination. That's interesting. Hmm. Now, some of this, I'm sort of tempted to figure out like what these guitars go for new so I can figure out if I'm getting any sort of good deal. Um, I have found, I looked through a little bit on Macari and the deals seem to be pretty legit as far as, you know, online marketplaces go. I think I still like the Supro better than this one though because the Supro has the same kind of, you know, it has the vibrato bar, but it also has a bit cooler look than this one. I do like this though. I don't know, I'll put it on the list. Whoa, look at this, vintage Dan Electro, silver tone, oh, this is a bass. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, look at these tables. I know I'm. this isn't a guitar, but big old pick tables. Kinda like those. I'm gonna heart those anyways. Maybe come back for them. I think you can send people offers as well. So maybe I can offer them like low ball offers, see if they bite. I mean, how many people are on the market for pick tables? Whoa, this is cool. Look at this old PRS, PRS Torero. Whoa, that is, this has the most hearts I've seen out of the ones that I've looked at. An old gig bag. This must be like, I wonder, EMGs? And yeah, it's probably like a metal machine. It's a cool color. Huh. I'm gonna put it on my list. Okay, this one looks pretty nice. I like the color of this Strat. Fender Player Strat, so I think that's, okay, modified. This was once a Fender Player Series Strat, but now has been changed to almost a Clapton Strat. I don't know what that means. Like, Clapton called this guy up and he was like, all right, so here's what I would put in a Strat. Um, it's basically the same as one without the mid-boost circuit. If you wanted to add that circuit, the total price, blah, 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 blah. The neck is a Venter Classic Player 50s. Pickups have been changed to lace sensor golds. Tremolo's blocked. Cluson tuners, three-way switch. 
It's a pretty solid uh, Frankenstrat, I would say. Really nice color too. Good pictures. Um, is a Fender Player Strat? Is that are those the made in Mexico ones? I don't know. Let me let me look. Yeah. So these are the the Mexican ones, which nothing wrong with the made in Mexico Strat. Um, I would say so. Six seventy five is what it's going for. This so this is sort of like one hundred and twenty five bucks off, but it is modded. Those lace sensor pickups. I have played lace sensors. I don't know if lace sensor gold. I'm not sure. Um, they sound good though. This is definitely a contender. All right, so I spent another like twenty or thirty minutes kind of scouring through. And I showed you the highlights of my brief search, and it's between this one, the Matsumoku hollow body, uh, made in Japan. This one, the Supro guitar, and this is a White Holiday. And this one, the Fender Player Strat. Now I did start off by saying I wanted a guitar that fills a void in my current collection of guitars, something that I can use as a tool to accomplish a job that uh, I have not yet been assigned. So uh, I think this Strat, while it is really nice um, looking, it doesn't really do anything different than what I already have access to. So I'm going to unheart that one. Now the Matsumoku hollow body, this one is interesting to me just because of I think it looks really, really nice. And I like the idea of maybe the history of it. It says a late 60s Conrad model, 40185, made in Japan. Like, I think there's a lot of cool juju uh, built into this guitar. So for that reason, I really am interested. As far as the tone goes, however, I do have a, a variety of hollow and semi-hollow guitars that are excellent instruments. So it wouldn't really be meeting the criteria of doing something different from a tonal perspective. The Supro is probably the coolest looking of all the guitars that I found. It definitely fits the, I wanted to do something different as far as the sound goes, um, qualification. And it comes with a hard shell case and it seems to be in perfect condition. And it has a nice picture. There's only one picture, so that's mildly alarming. But I did just move here uh, to Nashville from North Carolina. And this seller appears to be from North Carolina. So I feel like there's some serendipity happening. This was posted one day ago. I am going to... I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. Buy now. And use PayPal, that's perfect. Um, all right, before I hit checkout, let's just uh, make sure there's not a one star review that, oh, first thing I see, five stars from Sam Ash. Looks like it's going on reverb for 700. So I think I'm getting a good deal here. All right, I feel good about this. Checkout. They definitely don't want you to make a mistake here. <laughs> Buy now. Easy as that. I am now going to await my new guitar. And for me, it's gonna take apparently between one and five days. For you, it's gonna happen right now. All right, here it is. By the way, this is probably the last time you're gonna see the studio without treatment all over the walls. Uh, some of you have been commenting, dude, it's a little, uh, little echoey in your, yeah, I know, I know. The treatment's coming, stay tuned for that. Don't you guys love my snapping abilities? I can uh, jump forward through time. Anyways, we're now in the future. I've received the guitar. It looks to be packed beautifully. Let's open it. Oh, it's a nice blue case. All right, let's see what I did. Well, 
She looks nice. Let's see how she sounds. this Mercari app review. Uh, it's a great platform. Got this guitar two and a half days after I ordered it. The seller actually shipped it the same day and well, overall awesome experience. Definitely check out the link down below if you're interested in getting on there and finding yourself a guitar or using that promo to sell a guitar for no cost whatsoever. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna play my new guitar a little bit more. <laughs> 